and welcome to We're Not Really Here. This is a special edition because it is new kit day. Yes, our brand new kit has launched here and you can get yours. It is available, so make sure you do that. I'm joined by Jolie and Lescott. My name is Kyle Walker and we are here at the We're Not Really Here studio. As you can see, I am wearing the kit. It is also uh, modelled by our mannequins as well. Jolian, first impressions of it on me? Decent, mate. You, you are filling that out, to be fair. I've got to pay you a compliment and say, yeah, it, it does suit well. All suit the home well workouts, they've been uh, paying off a little bit. <laughs> anyway, let's talk a bit about this kit, because there's something that you noticed as I was modelling it. I was walking around, showing it off, being proud of this brand new kit. And there's something you noticed, Jolian. Yeah, we said, obviously, all the designs are the same, but the, uh, the layer of them um, is unique to each individual kit. So every kind of fan that purchased this is going to have is going to be one of one, which is unique. And I don't think any other club can say, to, say that about their kit. Yes, and make sure you do get yours. If you want to say that you've got your own personalised kit, you can do that. And you can get your name on the back as well. So why not? Make sure you go to the, the club shop, get that done. Now, I want to tell you a little bit of something about this kit, all right? Because a Manchester City fan and Manchester artist, Mark Kennedy, he has uh, worked with Man City and Puma on that design. Now, you might know Mark because if you've ever been to the CFA, if you've ever been to the training ground, you will have seen some of the, some of the mosaics around uh, the CFA with some of our iconic... Some about legendary players. You've got a mosaic of Yaya Torre. You've got a mosaic of Joe Hart. You've got one of Vincent Company as well. And he worked with the club to put those together. So um, it's incredible. Julian, where's your mosaic in the mm, training ground? I'm not I'm quite at the level of the names you just mentioned. <laughs> I, I get that. I understand it, to be fair. I'm not bitter about it at all. Ugh. But no, I, uh, it's a great kind of gesture from Puma and Mark to kind of give up the, the time to help design this kit. Um, I quite like this, to be fair. Um, I think the fit is a lot better than this season's as well, but I, I do like the design, traditional, just blue and white kind of thing. But yeah, it, look, it looks decent. It definitely does, and it's going to look even better on you, so make sure uh, you do get yours. I can't, I keep on... It is beautiful. I'm genuinely, as a City fan, this is a kit that I saw the pictures of Raheem Sterling, Kevin De Bruyne, yeah. Sergio Aguero this morning when they launched the kit, when Puma Football put it on their uh, Instagram. I thought it was just beautiful. And to see them in it, it looks incredible on person. Yeah, definitely. I think we all get excited when we see new kits. And as a player, I was one of the ones that used to love to see the designs and kind of get to, to wear the next season's kit as early as possible. In regards to the, to the feel, I'm sure it looks as, feels as good as it looks, to be honest. It definitely does. Now, we are running a competition on Citizens throughout the day, so make sure you do enter that, and you can win yourself a kit right there. So if you want to go on there, do it, because we've got them to give out, so you might as well get involved. And one person that has done that, yes, straight off the bat, we are now announcing the first winner of our competition. Naomi Mwara from Nairobi in Kenya. Congratulations. You'll get an email shortly from our Citizens team to organise getting that kit over to you. But like we said... If you want to be like Naomi, if you want to be a winner, all right, of one of these brand new kits, well, make sure you do enter that competition over on Citizens, all right? And then we'll get it sent over to you, and it is easy as that. Now, Julian, I want to talk to you about some of your favourite kits, all right? Your time at Manchester City, you spent a long period of time here. You won many trophies here as well. And there's some iconic kits that stand out for me because over the past 10 years, We've dominated and we've had some great moments as City yeah. fans. Is it the same for you? Yeah. Um, the, the Navy kit, uh, I don't know what year that was. Was it the... Is it one where you, sc you score in that kit? I think I scored on a few. Oh, well, yeah, but no, yeah. <laughs> at Villa Park, yeah. That yes. one at Villa yeah, Park, yeah, 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 that kit. Not even necessarily with the white shorts because we had to change that game. But in regards to the full Navy kit, I used to enjoy wearing that. It was used to hug the figure pretty well. Is it something that you get excited about as a player when you do get a new kit? Because I remember as a kid, getting the brand new kit was all I wanted. Now, for you, it's a bit different because you've wore so many kits. You get them on match days. It's like a uniform in a way for yeah, you. But... No, you do, to be honest. And I've stated before that 99% of players are fans. So they get excited to, to wear new kits. And especially nowadays with the boots that are matching up, we can see the, the Puma have obviously got a boot collection to match City's kit. So as an individual, for me, I used to look and think, what boots can I wear with that kit and try and match them up so you didn't have too much contrast going on. Now, you've said that you, you loved the, the Navy one. Any, any others that stand out for you? Um, I think that the ones that the City fans used to love us to wear the most was the 
black and red stripes. They used to enjoy to wear that, um, even though I, I used to find that strange being associated with the other half of yeah. the, the city. <laughs> but in regards to the fans, they used to look quite, quite like that one. Yeah, no, I think the, the black and red stripe ones, it's been something throughout our entire history. It was actually brought in because it was modelled on AC Milan. Yeah. Uh, and when we, we changed to that, it meant that we'd started winning some trophies back in the day. And it's obviously Good still omen. working Good right omen. now. Yes, it definitely, uh, it definitely is. Now, let's have a look at some of our players as they do model this kit. Now, it's not just me who gets to wear it on launch day. There's the players that go through all of the media days. They see the build-up to it. They get a sneak peek at this as well. So let's have a quick look at some of our players as they were modeling the new Puma kit. There you've seen Kevin De Bruyne modeling our brand new kit. Now, I've got to say, I've seen players do all of these photo shoots. They must do so many for them. And we see them laughing, we see them smiling. But, Jolian, I want the truth. <laughs> do players enjoy doing all of these media bits behind the scenes coverage? The kit wise, yeah. Especially when it's the season before it comes out, because it means that you're going to be there next season. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we need to get excited. That is Kevin De Bruyne that we see. I've got Raheem Sterling. So we get the fact that we know they're going to be here next season because obviously clubs marketing around that and advertising so that was a good aspect of it there are days when in pre-season when you're tired and you're, you're fatigued that you don't wish you you want to do any extended work in regards to media but it, it's part of the job we have to do it and we know how much it means to the fans now when these players do get new kits whether it's a massive occasion whether it's just a, a normal game i say normal game no game is normal uh, but do you have any superstitions did you have any superstitions when you received that new kit right sock on before the left anything like that um, well, I used to make sure I would have new socks every game. I would never use worn socks just because they used to be not as tight and a bit fresher and a bit more elasticated in them. So that was used to help. But also I would never walk out or shake hands with the opposition with my shirt hanging out. Just oh. a sign of respect. And then I would literally put it out as I got to the position. I didn't play always with my shirt tucked in. So... But I would always have it in to, to kind of shake hands and, and show my respect to the opposition. A little bit of insider knowledge right there. Now, you mentioned socks. There's a, a player called Kyle Walker. You probably know him. He, he cuts holes in the back of his. And yeah. some of the players, they, they don't wear the bottom of their socks. They kind yeah. of have separate ones. Socks seem to be big in the footballing world. Well, obviously, that's the kind of close contact to the ground. So it needs to feel right in your boots. So the reason for Kyle having the holes was to, to do with, like, fatigue in his calves. Obviously, he's an explosive player in regards to running and jumping. So he kind of pinched holes in them. So it would allow his calves to breathe a little bit more. And in regards to players cutting the bottoms off, it's so they kind of have a normal sock feel. Uh, and even nowadays, they do specialized socks that have a special grip on the bottom that stick to your sole of your boot. So your foot doesn't move in your boot. So that kind of is a massive thing. And I've also seen manufacturers now, they've developed socks without the foot piece on. So it's, oh, now, wow. yeah, so it's now just the top piece of the sock to save everyone <laughs> cutting the socks every game and just having the, the kit man having a thousand pairs of half-worn socks. They kind of developed and manufactured new socks. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I won't need to cut any holes in the back of uh, my socks with the size of my calves, Julian. <laughs> right, let's, uh, let, let's talk about uh, brand new kits because we have had some luck in brand new kits. If you remember all the way back to the beginning of the season, yes, the Community Shield against Liverpool, we wore a retro kit to commemorate the 125th anniversary of Manchester City and I've got to say it was a good day out
There's just something about watching those players enjoying themselves, watching them celebrate, especially in that kit. It gives me goosebumps. Jolian, that kit, so simple, beautiful. What, what are your thoughts on it? Yeah, again, it reminds me of the kit they wore City War a few years before my arrival at Old Trafford in the Remembrance Day and, yes. and, and they got a victory there as well. So, yeah, as I said, good omens in regards to, to one-off kits. There is something about just a simple design and, and that's what I think a lot of Manchester City fans love when they do get that new kit is the design of it all. And when we saw that one, I, I was lucky to see it up close and to feel it and it had a completely different texture. As, as a player, how important is that texture, the feel of a shirt? Because you've got to wear it or change it at half time. And there's yeah, I used to change things. at half time. I, I sweat a lot, to be fair. So <laughs> that used to get pretty heavy. And that was the thing. There's so much technology that goes into shirt development now. It's not just a case of our uh, wearing a shirt and it, and it kind of fits everyone. Like I remember one of the shirts here. I always wore long sleeves, and the manufacturer didn't do long sleeves, so I had to have a replica. So I was actually wearing a shirt that was from the club shop oh wow and not the actual shirt that everyone all the team was wearing <laughs> because i used to wear long sleeve but yeah them things matter because as i said players sweat and shirts become pretty heavy yeah um, if you can kind of wear them for the for the 90 minutes well someone who has worn themselves a shirt because they entered our citizens competition was samuel nevins from cheadle congratulations all right citizens will be getting in touch with you Local they'll drop lad. you yeah no not too i'll drop it off on the way home after this <laughs> well will you <ya>? yeah. <laughs> they'll be getting in touch with you they'll drop you you an email all right just to ensure that you do get that shirt uh, safely there's only a few more minutes left to enter we have a couple more shirts to give all right so go to mancity.com forward slash citizens enter that competition we've got to give them away so you might as well be in with the chance of doing that now jolian we saw the players celebrating uh, just there there's a chance for more celebrations as we move towards the end of the season semi-final at wembley on saturday it's going to be huge looking forward to it after the, the victory last night, Arsenal also got a yeah. win. It's going to be a good game. Yeah, definitely. It's going to be difficult. Um, Arsenal now, obviously, the back of their victory. Um, surely bags of confidence. Mikel Arteta, obviously, having played them uh, at the start of the lockdown, I'm sure he would have learnt a lot from that game. Um, I'm sure their tactics will be different. Their formation is different to that, that setup. So... It's going to be difficult, but I believe that Pep and the players are ready for this game. Um, the, the result was great last night, but the performance wasn't what we've come accustomed to seeing. So I'm sure they're going to want to put that right and, and hopefully put Arsenal to the sword. Now, if we go all the way back to the beginning of Project Restart, obviously we played against Arsenal in that first game. It's going to be completely different, though. The FA Cup makes it even more special. It being at Wembley, even though there's no fans, it's going to make it a bigger occasion. Yeah, definitely. Um, the fans obviously help the occasion uh, and enhance the atmosphere and all that, but playing at Wembley is special. Um, and some of these players will be their first time and potentially could be their last time. So the motivation is there for individually. And we looked at Arsenal's setup last night and... Obviously, Obama Yang surprisingly didn't start, but I'm sure he will start on the weekend. <laughs> so we kind of know that uh, as a team, it's, it's, it's going to be difficult to kind of cement that and, and combat that. But we're confident that we can get that done. Now, speaking of players who didn't start last night, uh, Kevin De Bruyne, Raheem Sterling as well. Do you think that they're going to be in the starting eleven on Saturday? Was he resting them a few days ahead of that semi-final? I would imagine so. Um, before, when we did uh, the Newcastle game last week, we said that the weekend's game will probably look more like the kind of game the Arsenal team line up. Um, Kevin De Bruyne, I don't even think I, I seen him warm up last night, so there wasn't any kind of risk for of him going on, which means for me suggests that he's going to start. Um, again, I said last night the the probably saddest thing was David Silva played 90 minutes, so will he start the game on on Saturday? Who knows? But it probably looks like it's it's going to be Kevin coming in for David. But we'll see what happens. All I know is that it's going to be a, a special uh, day semi-final. Plus, the players will be wearing this brand new kit. There's something about the players wearing the new kit before the new season, just getting a little bit of a glimpse of it. Uh, and that was what happened today on social media when the kit was released. So let's have a quick look through some of these social media messages. All right, now Man City were one of the first to put that out there. Uh, and they put their new cover photo. It's got Caroline Ware, it's got Raheem Sterling, and it's also got Sergio Aguero, all sporting uh, that new kit. And also in the corner, one thing that I noticed, which is uh, it's a, a bit of a nod 
this kit to some of the mosaics around Manchester. One of them is on the sixth day, God created Manchester. A lot of Manchester City fans like to add Manchester City to the end of that one. Uh, but we can see that in the corner there. Also, uh, we've got one. Um, now, it, I think it's in Portuguese. So I'm not going to try uh, try my oh, best to, to read that one out. But it is a picture of Gabriel Jesus. And I've got to say, Gabriel Jesus looks... Um, he looks frightening. After his goal last night as well, um, I wouldn't like to come up against him. This looks like a picture where he's um, he's ready to score. He's ready to, to scare the opposition. He's ready to come up against them. He's got his hands uh, kind of cupped together, and he looks very, very confident. Let's just say that. Uh, one more. Uh, it's another one which is in um, Spanish or Portuguese. So, again, I'm not going to go for it, but we can see the picture. Uh, and we've got the, the new kit. Everyone seems to be really, really enjoying this new kit. Everyone seems to be uh, sharing their thoughts and their opinions on social media. You can do the same as well. Make sure you use that hashtag WNRH. And this is one of my favourites, all right? Now, this is a design, and it's on the Man City Twitter, and it just says legendary. And it's got a picture of Sergio Aguero. But it's not just a picture. It's an illustration with the hashtag, this is our city, and a link for you to shop uh, and buy your version of the kit. I've got to say, Sergio Aguero, he's the perfect model for this kit because he just looks good in anything. Yeah, obviously. Sergio, them boys there can carry it off, to be fair to them. So... I'm sure that he'll be looking forward to getting it on and hopefully scoring many more goals. Now, another one, it's on the... Just go to the City Twitter. You'll be able to see them all throughout the day. Uh, they've got one, it says, from the City, by the City, for the City. Our Puma Football 2020 2021 home kit. And there's got a link for you to shop it, but it's got an advert for it. And I've got to say, the advert is so good. It captures Manchester. It captures yeah, the, seen it. the feelings behind the kit. And I just got to say, it's brilliant. It made it made me go, wow! Like yeah. I want this kit. I need this kit right now. And speaking of people who look good in the kit, including myself, uh, <laughs> Raheem Sterling right here. He's got oh. this. Is our city and a picture of him is a his signature as well. This mosaic background, it just looks so good on the kit, but also on all the pictures that are being used. And I've just got to say. All of these football, they all look great in it, don't they? they, they you know, these, they design these kits. They look good on anyone, this one. Uh, and one, two, three, four people, which are testament to that. Uh, we've got Kevin De Bruyne, Gabriel Jesus, Raheem Sterling and Imerick Laporte. And it's, uh, it's from Football Pundit. And it says Manchester City reveal their 2020-2021 home shirt. Uh, and they're all smiling. They're all laughing. As we saw that, that video before, they look like they're enjoying themselves. And this is my favourite tweet that I've seen throughout the day. It's from Gary James Writer. Uh, I know Gary quite well. He says, Mosaics have been part of Man City's design for almost 100 years. And he's included some images from my Farewell to Main Road book published in 2003. So if you do remember Main Road, on one of the, the entrances where I think all the players walked in, it's got uh, Manchester City Football Club as a mosaic. And I'm from Fallowfield, so I grew up right next to, to Main Road and used to go and play football uh, outside the stadium on a daily basis. And that's one of my, my earliest memories of, of Main Road is that mosaic. So, yeah, that's a nice little uh, nod to that and to Manchester City's history. So make sure you are using that hashtag WNRH. We want to see all of your images. We want to see all of your pictures of yous in that new kit. Now, some people who've been involved in the creation of all of this are Pep and some of our men's and women's players. So let's have a look at them as they got a bit creative and they had a go at making a mosaic themselves. <laughs>
There we've just seen the likes of Jill Scott, Steph Horton, also Caroline Weir. And they're going to be excited, Julian, because they're going to be obviously wearing the same kit throughout uh, the season. But the way that the, the women's season ended they're going to be raring to go. I know they're back in training now. They're going to be wanting to get this kit on and get on the pitch. Yeah, definitely. I think they'll be more eager, determined to get back out there. The circumstances obviously were the same as the men's in, in regards to white stopped, but the outcome was totally different. Obviously, they wasn't in control of who won the league and, and regards they was in a, a strong position to, to do that. So I'm sure they're raring to go. A new coach, new kit. They're kind of all looking forward to kind of showcasing what this kit can do and what they can do in it. Yes, definitely. Now it is time to announce our third winner of our citizens competition. If you do want to enter, make sure you do that. Mancity.com forward slash citizens. And somebody that did that was Luke Van Winkle from New Jersey, United States of America. Luke, congratulations. This kit is yours. You will be receiving an email from a member of our citizens team very shortly, and they will sort out getting it sent across the pond safely to you. Now, a quick reminder, the club shop is open. If if you want one of these kits, if you want to join Luke, if you want to join Naomi, if you want to join myself, all right, sporting these kits, you can do that. People have been out there buying those kits today. And Adam Monk from City TV was wandering around, seeing all of those people in action. Hello, guys. I'm just heading down to the City store now because, as I'm sure you're all aware, the new kit has launched. I'm wearing the training top now with the shirt underneath it. So I'm just going to show you around the new items, show you around the uh, store and the general vibe. And yeah, let's see how it goes. So I showed you around the layout last week of the new look store, but there's the women's bit where it was last time. And this is the section now for the authentic as worn by the players shirts. And then over there, as you can see, the men's shirt section. And it's looking really good, if I do say so myself. I think the mosaic pattern is very unique and it looks dead smart. Well, it looks smart on that guy anyway. I'm not sure if it looks quite as good on me, but there you go. Still a very nice shirt. And here's the goalie shirt as well, if you've not had the chance to see it. This is what Edison will be rocking next season. And maybe Scott Carson too, who knows. But yeah, very smart as well. There's also the new training gear as well, if that's more down your street. The new little uh, training tops. Got a white one and the dark one here as well for next season. Uh, hard to really show them off there from that angle, so I'll let Sterling do the rest. So if you thought the shirt wasn't good enough already, listen to this, it gives you composure, flair, agility and speed but it can basically be summarized in short as this man right here Now, there's just something about new kit day, especially uh, right now, I, I get excited even as an adult, but when I was a kid, it was even more exciting. And that was um, a very special time, Julian, for, for me, when I managed to get my hands on the kit and I knew that I was gonna finally be able to, to wear it get my favorite player on the back of it it was sean goto it was paul dickoff it was sean wright phillips wasn't really allowed sean's name because i had too many, too many letters, letters yeah, yeah on the back too of expensive. it yeah. yeah yeah i know that once I, I don't remember having anyone's name on my shirts to be fair i was i was allowed it once or, or <laughs> twice uh, but some junior citizens were surprised this morning with their own kits yes manchester city surprised jessica harry and luca uh, and it was a nice little touch because we can see them now their faces we can see how excited they managed to get and it's just as i said there's something about when you're a kid finally getting your hands on that that jewelry and finally getting your hands on that kit and being able to put it on for the first time and to go out and play football in it you made sure you didn't mess it up you made sure you didn't rip it or anything but you couldn't wait to put it on oh definitely well my first kit was a goalkeeper's kit i was the younger brother so i had to go in goal so oh, really? I, that was on the, that was on the christmas oh, wow. list so it was um my obviously aston villa fan growing up so that was my 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 kit first kit was uh was john lukic was the name of the goalkeeper at the time wow. but yeah that kind of memory there was is crazy to think about that and now i've got a son a, uh, my youngest son he's like all over kits he's he's just decided on his team last few seasons but in regards to uh, how he loves him how he views his kits and how important they are to him it, it's special to watch well jessica harry luca i hope you enjoy all of those kits all right make sure you keep them safe okay want to see them throughout the rest of the season or 
all right once here every single match day you can watch us on we're not really here you can send those images in as well all right so keep us updated i want to see you in those match day kits every single time manchester city play now somebody else that i want to see in their kit is uh, takuma iono uh, from nagasaki japan you are our winner of our fourth match day shirt. Yes, you joined in in the citizens competition. So well done to you. We'll make sure we get that sent over nice and safely. It's all the way to Japan for you. So make sure uh, you let us know about that and get those pictures up. We wanna see them on social media. Come on, make sure you are sending them to us, all right. Uh, Jolien, there we go. It's all, it's all done. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, I'm keeping this kit. There's no way that anyone's taking Carry this off, off me. First time you've looked like a player. To be fair, Carl. First thing, you look like an actual squad member. Oh, I will, I will take that. that. Look, look not a start. <laughs> I'll, I'll sit on the bench. I don't mind. <laughs> uh, can we clip that up, please? Can we just make sure that I, I can get that for social, that Jolien Lescott has said that I look like a footballer. But uh, in all honesty, thank you, Jolien, for joining us. City's new kit is available, and the team will be wearing this against Arsenal on Saturday, Watford next week, and Norwich as well, plus Real Madrid for that Champions League tie here at the Etihad. Both Jolien and I will be here for We're Not Really Here for that game. So let's hope we can see Manchester City picking up more trophies in this beautiful kit. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you head down to the club shop. Make sure you get your match day kit. And I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Our city is a melting pot. Our an industry. Music fashion, noise and colour. It's a mashup that's made us legendary. Things that collide and come together, mirrored in the mosaics of Manchester. We've always been a city of all sorts. A bit offbeat, always something different. <laughs> but to us, that's what feels like home. This mosaic shirt is a tribute to our city, bringing together each little part that makes us whole. Telling a story about where we've come from and where it is we want to go. This is our city.